when you've had tooth trauma, it depends on how bad the hit is to the tooth. If the tooth has been completely, uh, it, if it's been taken out of the socket, if it's been knocked out of the socket, it's mandatory to put it back into the socket as soon as possible. Uh, the longer out of the socket, the less chance and the less success we have of keeping the tooth. Uh, that the body won't reject it. It's also vital that the tooth is cleaned when it's put back into the socket. So the ligament that's holding the tooth and the bone together depends on the damage of that periodontal ligament to how successful putting the tooth back into the socket is, the time that it's been taken away. So once the tooth is, if it's been diagnosed and it's been cleaned and everything, is, is a short period of time. We can put the tooth into the socket. Uh, it won't just stay there on its own, so it actually has to be splintered to the surrounding teeth. So it depends on how many of those teeth have actually been damaged, where they've been luxated, where there's mobility in those teeth. So the more that we can splint those teeth, um, the more chance we have of getting that connection back between the bone and the tooth with the ligament. With the way that we splint the teeth, we can actually use orthodontic brackets where we can put the brackets on the remaining teeth and we put a very light wire to hold everything in position. It can't be a rigid because what we're after, we're after healing of the ligament and we're healing of the bone and healing of the structures that hold the tooth in position. So that has to be evaluated at the time where we're putting the tooth back into the socket. Most likely we will put the wire on the outside because it's much easier to gain access. When we're going through trauma, the main thing is to do as little harm as possible to the remaining teeth and to the mouth. So wherever access is the easiest, which is on the outside of the teeth.